Hey y'all, this is Jerry here again with you, Country Folks 100. Uh, it's early morning in the first part of November today. It's uh, gun season for deer. Uh, what I'm going to do this morning is just ease right back here behind my house. I've got a little blind set up uh, right in a, in a little thicket right here behind the house. I'm just going to go down to it and uh, set up and see if we can see a deer this morning. This is the always the nerve-wracking part of deer hunting for me. I made a shot on that young buck down there, and uh, as soon as I shot, he took off straight ahead, which is to my left. And uh, but it's so thick down here, uh, you, the only place you can see is right in the shooting lane. So it's been about 15 or 20 minutes now. So I'm gonna just ease down there and look, and. Uh, see if I can see any blood or, or maybe see him down through the woods or something. Alright y'all, I'm uh, a lot further down here in the woods than I thought I was going to be this morning. Uh, I had that, uh, looked like a big spike came out this morning and over here on on my little piece of property. I'm not managing these deer or anything. I was just looking for some deer meat for the freezer. And uh, I shot the deer this morning. I went down there, I didn't see no blood. I had to go back and get Naomi. And uh, she came back here, verified I did hit it. It was a uh, clearly a gut shot. And uh, we saw uh, you know, where I'd hit it in the gut and uh, some hair and stuff. And uh, so I've been kind of grid searching this whole property over here all morning, and uh, now I've, I finally, finally found him. And uh, <clears throat> I haven't even really put my hands on him yet, but he's actually better than I thought, and he's a little four point. But uh, for over here where we're not managing the deer for a horn size or anything like that. You know, we're just using them for meat. Uh, that's a good good deer for that. Uh, I would have taken a doe, but I always kind of hate taking does if they have a one or two yearlings with them. You know, but uh, you know, this is a, a good meat deer right here. I'm proud of it, and uh, I didn't didn't think I was ever gonna see that deer again, man. I'm glad to see that thing. Man, thank the Lord. I've been praying all morning trying to find this thing. All right, well. Uh, try to get him on out of the uh, woods and try to get him cleaned up. Alright, I came back down here uh, to get my deer. I got my uh, little deer dolly. I'm going to try to wheel him out with that. I was just going to kind of show my setup here now that I've found the deer and everything's kind of cool right now. So, uh, There's my stand set up. Just had a little blind sitting there. Uh, a little sawhorse for a shooting rest and a little chair just sitting in there and uh you know my house is just right back there you know my squirrel dog and everything they just right over there through those trees and this here is my property and it's extremely thick in here I've, I've had several videos you know from this property right here behind my house i do a lot of my squirrel hunting here but i opened up this shooting lane uh this past summer and, uh, and I just kind of baited up down there at the end of it. There's a little creek uh, right before you get to the end of it. And I just would bait up the other side. And I'd been seeing where some deer had been coming through and feeding a little bit. And uh, I think actually this big thicket over here, there's a lot of them that's bedding over there. And actually I hit the deer better. I said a while ago I'd hit it uh, far back. But uh, I'd actually hit it good in the, uh, the left front shoulder, and uh, it just kind of came out uh, far back on the other side. So he was actually quartering to me more than I thought he was. But it, it was still a pretty good shot. He just ran a good little ways, and it took me 
uh, probably about two hours to find that deer this morning. All right, we're about to uh, get him loaded up. There's my dear Dolly, and uh, you see he was on that side here, so I actually shot him good. So that makes me feel a little bit better because I thought I had just shot him straight through the gut, and I didn't think I was ever going to find this deer. Uh, but you know, I'm pleased with it. I'm I'm happy. Uh, thankful to the Lord that I was able to find this thing because if he had got past the uh, property line there I, I probably wouldn't have ever found him uh, but I appreciate y'all for uh, tuning in and watching this week and uh, we'll see y'all again next time try to uh, subscribe to the channel if you would we'd appreciate it alright uh, bye Pretty good little can openers on him.